I make these videos for fun and learning primarily, which means sometimes I do things in an inefficient way, an impractical way, an old way, just because I like it or because it's instructional. So for an upcoming project, I have found myself with a strange need. So let's say we have a non-negative voltage range, 0 to 1, 0% and 100%, that's just the two rails. So I have found myself with the need to split and invert the voltage multiple times in a row. So from 0 and 1, I would need negative 1 half. And then I would also need positive 1 quarter, negative 1 eighth, and I need it to be buffered. Well, I found an easy way to do it. Unsurprisingly, it involves an op amp. Using an op amp as a voltage divider. Let's say I have a reference voltage, 5 volts, and I want to cut it in half, but also negate it, so I get negative 2.5. So here we have 5 volts. If I put that through a voltage divider with the output of an op amp, like so, and then we get the 0 volt ground on the non-inverting input, we have a classic inverting op amp. I've used a variable resistor here to show that this is the one you change. This resistor is whatever. On my breadboard, I have a potentiometer of the same value. I think it's 10K and 10K. If this resistor is the same size as this resistor, then you have unity gain. The output is going to be negative 5 volts, because 5 volts and negative 5 volts voltage divide with identical resistors to 0, and we've got 0, so that's where the op amp settles. If this op amp goes to 0, then the output is directly tied to the inverting input, and so the op amp sees 0 volts here, it's going to put out 0 volts to get 0 volts there. So essentially, it's working the same way as a voltage divider. Obviously, it's a different mechanism, but it's the same thing. You can voltage divide a voltage, anywhere from the starting voltage down to 0, by varying the size of the resistors. So here's our voltage divider, but we're buffering it and inverting it, basically. So if I want to cut the voltage in half, then I just change the value of that resistor so that it's cutting the output in half relative to the input after inversion, and there you go. I haven't done anything interesting here. I will admit, I've just used an amplifier as an amplifier. The point is, th this is this is more of a tips and tricks series to show you this is how you can use the things you already know instead of just explaining, oh, this is an inverting amplifier. Well, here's me using it. And also, here's me using it. Plus and minus seven volt supply so that my op amps with their non-rail-to-rail performance can reach minus five to five volts. A potentiometer as a voltage divider for an input signal and a potentiometer as a variable resistor, so ignoring one pin for the gain control. And then I think it's a 10K resistor in a 10K pot. It's not perfect. Right now the signal is 5 volts and the potentiometer is all the way up, so it should be unity gain, but it looks like the actual resistor is slightly bigger, so we're getting some loss. It's just tolerances on parts. If I turn the resistor all the way down, so effectively no resistance, we get our 0 volts output. So I could take that 5 volts and I can just change it to be minus 2.5. And then if I change the signal to be 2.5, I get minus 1.25, which is minus an eighth. If I do negative 2, I get about positive 1. So I can control the factor from 100% to 0%, and then it also inverts it. And in doing so, it buffers it. Now what in the Sam Blazes could I possibly need with a weird thing like this? You'll just have to wait and see. For now, I'll be seeing you.